Theme music by T. Marie Vandely is a horror novel with a fun voice and characters. At its heart, it's a haunted house story. But as you read through it, you find it's much, much more. Our main character is Dixie Wheeler, who for a time was known as Baby Blue, since this was the name of the song playing when police entered her house when she was 18 months old and found her entire family slaughtered by her father, who then sliced his own throat. She has no memory of this horrific event, but it has colored her life ever since. Now, 25 years after the massacre, she's compelled to move back into the childhood home she never got a chance to grow up in. Vandaly gives Dixie a fun and relatable voice in this story. She clearly has a few screws loose. Uh, Dixie, not Vandaly. I could easily relate to that. She gets a lot of intrusive thoughts, she makes impulsive decisions, and lies herself into trouble on more than a few occasions. She seems to swing back and forth between knowing her actions are questionable and thinking she's just following her heart. I liked her a lot, especially as the story went on and we learned more about her past and her backstory up to this point. Theme music winds itself into a lumpy knot as the plot progresses, and though a lot of the twists were fun and unexpected, by the end I still felt like I had a few questions about everything. I think if I read it again, things might be clearer, um, but as I write this here, there are still a few character motivations and plot threads that I don't quite grasp. That said, it was still a fun ride. The pacing here was nice, interspersing increasingly concerning hauntings or potentially mental instabilities in Dixie with a narrative about a family torn apart by traumatic circumstance. I think the story's strongest points are the characters, all of whom I found engaging, be they living, dead, or imagined totally. I did have a little trouble with the climax of this story. Not really with what was happening, but more with the pacing. I felt like things really slowed to a crawl as everything got revealed at the end and a sort of final confrontation takes place. I felt myself a little confused at times about what exactly was happening and I couldn't get a fix on the layout of the setting, which felt sort of important to me given the nature of what was going on. I sort of had things visually laid out in my mind, um, but it kept ending up being incongruent with what the author had in their mind. It might just be me though, maybe that's not something that would upset anyone else. I just felt like I couldn't get my bearings through this whole thing. There are a lot of plot threads woven together, and the mystery and unreliable narrator elements in this book were a lot of fun, even if I didn't quite get all of them. The main strengths of this for me were the characters and the overall tone of the narrative. It was amusing to watch Dixie rationalize things and ignore things that would have made any other sane person run screaming from the door of the house. There's quite a bit of nice humanity to this story, which I enjoyed a lot. I'd recommend this one, especially if you like fun, slightly unreliable narrators and some surreal haunting stuff. I'll be interested to see more from Vandaly. I couldn't find a website for her, but the book is from Penguin Random House and it's available everywhere you buy books. So go to Amazon, go to your local bookstore and check out Theme Music by T. Marie Vandaly. What do you think, Winston? Do you like theme music? I give theme music by Marie T. Vanelli three floating blood-soaked bed frames.